And secondary in the corner, uh, you saw uh, Toriano step up, made plays, um, showed people, you know, the reason why he was here. You know, uh, along with St. Louis beginning, and he's, uh, he's a good asset. Jane Lucas, you know, uh, he's doing what he's supposed to do. You know, the offense talks about you. It's a good thing. Do you see the Fuba playing uh, cornerback this year a little bit? Uh, yeah. You know, we're going to put the best 11 out there, and then, you know, if, you know, putting another safety and down in a nickel slot position, so it will be anything. You know, we're going to utilize uh, every person we have. What's your area of emphasis going into What is the, uh, your position you've improved on the most since uh, spring, and how can that, what's your area of emphasis going into summer? Well, you know, I, I, I can't really say too much about what they've improved on, you know, since spring practice, because I've not been, a, been able to, uh, to watch uh, any of uh, their, their workouts. So it's going to be interesting, you know, it's like a, a kid running downstairs on Christmas. You know, you want to see what's in the in, 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 in the presence. Who's going to be that leader in your room? I'm probably sure. You know, just because he's been here the longest, he's, uh, you know, he's been in, you know, the guy that's had starter snaps. And uh, the guy's rolling on it. You know, he's been through the, the ringer. So uh, for them, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a sign of maturity. And uh, he's uh, already accepted that. And, Mike, how has your day to day changed adding the assistant head coach title this summer? Uh, just a more opportunity for me to, to, to spread the brand. Um, it's like, you know, Coach Sweeney's. You know, extend it on. You know, when he can't do something, you know, uh, Coach Reed will go and fill in for him. And it's, uh, you know, I've been here the longest, so I've seen the program for a long time. And um, and actually, you know, before that, I was on the, the other side, so I've been able to see it in a different light. So uh, nothing much has uh, changed, you know. Uh, so it's, it's been pretty good, though. What's the dynamic change kind of this offseason with essentially a new group of guys, Coach Con, Well, you know, we've been together for a while, so it's really nothing new. Um, next man up uh, motto, and uh, it's one of those things where we're going to fight for each other because, you know, we want to see each other succeed. Whether you're coaching in high school, whether you're coaching at college level, or even like the the process of evaluating a guy like Liam Boyd, uh, well, he came to camp, and you knew right then and there from the, as they say, the pop of football off his foot that he was special. He has a lot of leg strength. Uh, actually, took a year off, went down to uh, IMG and competed on a, on a national stage. So for him, it's just making that transition down to Clemson, uh, and then the competition factor of kicking in front of, you know, 88,000 people. You know, but he is very promising. Uh, he has a good skill set, so it's up to us to uh, make sure that we enhance it and put the best product on the field. Right. But from what you have been able to see, where does the improvement that just comes from? Well, the thing is being accurate. You know, like I said, being able to kick in front of a, a, a crowd of 88,000, you know, which is a lot different than maybe 10, you know. Um, and so that'll probably have to be his, his transition. But, you know, for a young man of his caliber, it'll be okay. Mike, when you have young, very talented guys like Jaden and Toriano, what are the things that you're looking to see from them in their first full Uh Effort, competition, toughness, uh, coachability. Um, guys who are going to be able to take what we coach in the, in, the, in the classroom and be able to, to put it for use on the field. Um, as I tell these young men, hey, you know, I recruited you for a reason. I want to see you play. So for me, it's you know getting them out there and letting them play, seeing it in, in live action against a, another team. Can you tell with guys like that when the light comes on? Uh, you really don't know. You know, you just have to throw them out there. You know, and hopefully that you know, as a young kid, they they, they have those natural instincts where they can swim. You know, and uh, and you've seen it. You can't, you know, that they'll be okay, you know. The kid is fast. 
You know, that's, that's the one thing I hear. He's fast and he's physical. So with those attributes right there, I love it. You know, uh, because like I said, at the end of the day, that's what uh, Coach Winnie pays me to do as coach. You know, give me the, the things that I can't teach, you know, as far as the natural things. Everything else is fine from there. You want young men who represent the brand well. Having a guy like Jaden who's from right up the road in Baltimore, what does that do for your cornerback room? And what type of ambassador can he be for this program? Well, one, it, it, it gives the young kids in this community you know, a, a sense that, you know, if Jaden do it, I can do it, you know, and and you want to be able to play with in-state players, you know, you don't want to have to go and recruit all over the place for guys, you know, you want to be able to recruit the, the hometown kid and, and, and let his his ability of, you know, what he did in high school, you know, come to college with him. Sorry, you've been asked this already, but Jaden Lucas, is there a timeline for his return and his Malcolm Green coming? Right now, he's 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 on track to, to, to uh, be ready for start camp. You know, he's been working out and doing all those type of things, so he'll be ready. Same with Malcolm. Yes. Fred Davis came in highly recruited. You know, what did you see from him in the spring and going together? What, what I liked about Fred is, you know, Fred has grown up. You know, it was never his his, 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 uh, his physical ability. It was his more of his mental capacity, and, and he's actually turned the corner and and, 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 you know, and that's what you want to see. You want to see the growth uh, of these young men made, and uh, he's actually done it. And so I, I like his focus right now, and I like where he's at, and I'm looking for a big season. Out. What are you looking for out of Malcolm? Well, to be, to be 100% healthy, you know, and what you, what you like about Malcolm, Malcolm is going to give you everything he has, regardless of if it's 100%, 10%, 10%, you know, but, you know, right now he's, he's, very, he's healthy, and that's what I want to see. I want to see the old Malcolm running around there, you know, passionate, you know, getting the most out of, out of his players, you know, so I'm looking forward to seeing him participate this team. Did Fred go through like a humbling process last year? Would you say? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of times young men feel like you know uh, they can bring the same thing from high school to college, and you can't. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a new scheme, a new system, a new uh, a new place, and you know uh, things that you, you once did when you were young are not going to be the same thing that you be successful on this level. So you got to continue to grow. And for him, you know, it was. You know, he'll probably be the, the uh, he'll probably tell you the same thing that you know he was humble. You know that he thought that the things that he did in high school were going to automatically be the same things that he does here to make it successful. Coach, your two five-star freshmen, sorry, Lucas and Pride, that stood out about so far. Getting on campus and seeing them. Athleticism, you know, uh, the willingness to compete, the maturity. So those things, and then just the the uh, physical you know, guys can run, can jump. Um, and so it's, it's, it's been a, a pleasure watching you know Rodgers grow. Wes Gilwin as a defensive coordinator, what, what have you learned about him as a leader? As a well, well, Wes, like I said, we, we've been here a long time, so it's not really nothing new as far as learning about him. You know, because I've, I, you know, when a lot of people didn't know much about him. Heck, you know, we've been here sitting in the back room for a long time. So for me, it's it's an honor because now to see a young man, you know, get an opportunity to, to voice his opinion, for people to hear who he is, you know, for him to stand out. Do you think this could be one of the faster, depending on, I guess, the fact that you one of the faster groups? might be in trouble. Probably, you know, from from uh, from a totality from top to bottom, yeah. Um, they are not as 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 put together for us physically as Toriano, but athletically, yes. Uh, guys that can, or can do multiple things, very athletic. You know, guys that can go out and play on the edge, or go in and play in the slot. So you know. It's, 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 it's good to see it, you know. It's like having a bag of Skittles, you know. You never know what you're going to get, but at the end, they're, they're, they're sweet. They're sweet. <laughs> is, is Toronto one of the most like physically ready corners you've had across the yeah, country? Yeah, yeah, besides Mackenzie Alexander, yes. 
Is Nate Wiggins, does he have the entry camp as one of the starters? He'd be one of those guys that has an opportunity. Yes, right now there's there's not a there's not a depth chart. You know, uh, I don't want you know I don't want to put anything on anyone right now. I want to keep an open competition. Does that go with Sheridan Jones on the other side too? Sheridan would probably be a guy that that'll run out there. Yes, you know he's earned it. You know, but like anything, you know they they they've got to go out there and they've got to compete every day. You know, I don't want a guy to feel like he, he's made it. You know, so I want that competition factor all the way up until the start of the first game. I know Fred Davis was cut out a little bit during the spring. Do you feel like game speed wise, playing shape? He's, he's, you know, you know from, from what I've been told, he's, everybody's healthy. Everybody's ready to go. You know, he, you know, they've got a race plan at the end of the. The, the, the semester with all the corners and the, and, and the, and the safety. So he says he's going to be the fastest oh, man, one, so we'll see. Where's your viewer setting on that? Nate. Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Is that easy? Yeah. <laughs> Just somebody proves me wrong. Coach, what did you know about, about West from the back of the room, as you said, that, that people didn't know yet? Extremely smart. I mean, when it, when, it, when it comes down to football knowledge, he is a man that has a lot of knowledge. And he can regurgitate something that was 10 years ago, you know, that you may not say typically the same way, and Wes would already say it before you said it, you know. Uh, so that's that's what I'm, you know, a lot of people are going to be shocked about. Did he seem like a Wiz kid or a future coordinator of both? Both. You know, being in, being coming from the NFL, you know, he has the attributes of an, of an NFL coordinator. What's the mood around this building as you guys head in? I mean, every, I think everybody's, you know, right now upbeat, you know, uh, ready, for, ready for football. You know, uh, there's a lot of remodeling going around here. Guys' bodies are changing. Guys are growing up, seeing the young kids. So it's, it's kind of like a buzz. There's a lot of talk that from the outside that Clemson's time has passed. Do you guys use that as coaches to kind of create that chip going into the season? Or do you have to say anything about that? I don't, I don't think we have to say anything because of the, the, the standard. You know, um, it's been set, you know, and I think guys, you know, want to live up to that standard. So I don't, I don't really don't think we get into what people say, you know. Uh, there's a lot of competition within this building, so I think as long as we have that, you know, we'll always have a chip on the You mentioned everybody competing for a starting position. What are you looking for from guys to kind of elevate them to that starting level? Consistency. I want guys that can do it over and over and over and over again, you know, because then that builds trust in me, so now I can trust them. You know, that's what I want to see, you know. Um, so that's what, you know, those guys are, are working for. You know, to be consistent. What did your the two guys you sent to the NFL this past year? What did they, you know, give to the group, and what are the current guys maybe taking from them or have learned? From them? Well, the, the good thing about them is you see Mario Goodrich, you know, who comes in, you know, and he doesn't become a starter, a true starter, till his senior year. A guy that just got stuck with him, you know. So now, you know, guys are learning perseverance, you know, um, and then from Booth, they're learning the physicality. You know things of that nature, and so it's it's, it's a it's a good thing. And then you have those guys, other guys like AJ Terrell, Kenzie Alexander, who you know have set a precedence for what a corner and Clemson is supposed to look like. Uh, Nick Eason, as a coach, as a recruiter, what have you learned about him since y'all have been full-time staff members? Uh, well, <laughs> I've known him for a while, so it's you know it's, you know it's, nothing shocks me. You know he's a, he's a great man, great coach, and I'm glad that he's on our team. Well, why do you think his personality appeals, you know, to younger guys? So because you can relate to him. You know, here goes a man who, who who's, who's played in the NFL. You know, now he's coaching college. So a lot of these young men have aspirations on going to the NFL. So why not go play for a guy who's actually done? It, you know, so guys are after want to go, and he and he makes it fun. You know, so uh, I would want to play for him. Coach, what is it like for this group to be able to play against these kind of tall, athletic receivers? Having that experience, maybe going on one-on-one rep with like Justin Ross, who's on the 
path of the NFL right now. How has a healthy competition helped your group improve as a whole? As they say, iron sharpens iron. You know, when you go against the best every day in practice, when it's time to line up on Saturday, the stage is not too big. You know, so that's that's a plus for us. You know, you know, in recruiting is, you know, like I said, a lot of guys want to go play in the NFL. Well. What better way to go to the NFL than practice against the NFL guy, caliber person, every day? So now, like I said, when the opportunity comes, you're ready for it. Appreciate it. Thank you.